Hello viewers! In today's video I show you how to change or renew the license of a SAP system. The licenses of these SAP developer versions are only valid for a limited time. It is not so easy to recognize an expired license because there is no meaningful error message. Either you get the general error modlib JSLib code exception or the database startup just hangs. In my case, this is my ABAP installation. And here I want to use the user NPL ADM to start the SAP system. And then we use the command start SAP all. And normally we get the messages that the database is starting and so on and other messages. But here we get no message because we have an error here. And I know that my license is no longer valid and for this we have to download a new license. For this I open the browser and I post the link in the video description developers.sub.com then we click on trials and downloads all trials and downloads then we scroll down to our SAP system in my case it's SAP NetWeaver ABAP Developer Edition 752SP04 and we see here that a new license has been uploaded. And we download this license. I have already downloaded this license in my folder ABAP license. And this is the original license and here is the new license. So let's open this license with a notepad. And we see here the new valid date. And this license we want to put in our virtual machine. And for this we have to uh, add the shared folder. And then we click on new, then the folder path. This is the folder on my host system. It's ABAP. I select this and with auto mount. And then I can use this folder in my guest system, in my virtual machine. And next I use the Tuna file manager to change the files. You can do this also with the terminal, but it's much easier with the file manager. But we need the root user for this and so I write as you. Then I need a password. And then I start the file manager with the start tuner. It's not start, it's only the name of the file manager. It's Tuna. Yes. Next, we go to the folder with the original license file. So I click on file system root, file base NPL, and this AM2. Licenses and this is my original license file and this one we want to replace with the new downloaded one. For this I open a new window, I go to the shared folder 
ABAP, then folder license and new license. And here I do a right click copy and I paste this file in this folder. Yes, I want to replace this. And next we change the properties, the permissions, because this file is group root and we have to change this to um, subsys. Then close and then we close the windows. We open a new terminal, change the user to NPLADM, and now let's start the SAP system with the new license with start sub all. And then we should get the SAP system running. Yes, the instance is started. And now let's try to log in. We open the SAP logon for this, double click on the system and here it is. Yes, that's it. Have fun with the test system, practice ABAP. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and leave me comments. I always enjoy reading them. Until next time, thank you and see you soon.